All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, get those videos on. Unless you talked to me and said you don't have a video camera, you get your videos on. We make sure everybody can. I can see everybody's face. All right, all right. Uh, what do we have today? What do we have today? Quest two. Quest two. Okay, it's going to start. It's going to start at ten fifteen. It's going to start at ten fifteen. And when should you have your PDFs uploaded by? When should you have your PDFs uploaded by? 11.10. 11.10, 10. So it'll start, it'll start at 10.15, um, and then it'll go to 11.10. There's just no way I can, I can give the entire period. Uh, we're gonna spend, we're gonna spend the first half hour continuing our discussion, our beautiful discussion about planes. Our beautiful, beautiful discussion about planes. Um, Okay, stand up, stand up, stand up. You need this. Stand up, stand up. Stretch, stretch. Oh. Okay, okay, let's sit back down. Let's sit back down. Okay, when I say line, this, this should help you for today. If I say line, you say. A plus T D. In the same way, I want this beat into your brains. When I say plane, you say what? When I say plane, from what we did last time, you say what? N dot X minus A. N dot X minus A. Equals zero. Equals zero. Now I'm going to ask, is that a scalar zero or is that a vector zero? Is that a scalar zero or is that a vector zero? Scalar. A scalar zero. This is our vector form of a plane. This is our vector form of a plane. Write that down. Write that down. This is our vector form of a plane. All right. And when we talk about when we talk about planes. Classically from Euclid, classically from Euclid, three points, three non-collinear points, three points that don't lie on the same line, create a plane. Like, look in your room. Pick three different points. Pick three different points in your room, and then, and then see if you can't visualize a plane running through those three points. Three points that aren't on the same line are going to have a, are going to have a plane that runs through them. Um, Another classic thing from Euclid is that if you have a line, this is another one of his propositions, you have a line and you take a point that's not on the line. So I've got a line, and I'll just use this blue vector here as kind of my direction vector for my line. It's running through this direction vector. And I take my piece of chalk, I take my piece of chalk here that's not on the line. There's going to be one plane, there's going to be one plane, and only one plane, that will run between these. And so if I hold up like my plane segment here, I've got my plane segment, okay? There's only going to be one plane that's going to be able to lay right on that line, capture that line, and capture that point. And so those are the two classic propositions from Euclid. Euclid did not have vectors. Euclid did not have vectors. Euclid didn't have the Cartesian coordinate system. I want you guys to be able to go from our vector form of a, a plane to the Descartes form of a plane almost in a heartbeat, almost in a heartbeat. In the same way we can go, well, I guess we'll see maybe, in the same way we can go from a symmetric form of a line, a symmetric form of a line to the vector form of a line. How many people are pretty comfortable with that now? If I give you, if I give you a vector form of a line, can you throw it right into a symmetric form of a line? And vice versa, and vice versa. Okay. Now, what's this dude? What's this dude in this, this, this equation? Visually, what's that n vector? Visually, what's that n vector? The vector perpendicular to the plane? The pe vector perpendicular, the normal vector. We call that the normal vector. So to the best of your ability, here you have this little plane segment. Get yourself a plane segment and draw n. Draw a normal vector to that plane. Draw yourself a nice little plane segment and give yourself a normal vector to that plane. 
Now, I forgot my watch, so I'll be constantly looking at the time because I, I want to make sure we get started. Okay, and hopefully everybody, hopefully everybody, to the best of their ability, drew a vector that sits perpendicular to our plane. Drew a vector that sits perpendicular to our plane. And like, for example, I've got my plane here. It would be the vector here that's sitting perpendicular, rising off that plane. This is the most important, this is the most important vector to the plane because it controls the vector. As I move this, I can move my plane in any direction I want. It's analogous to my direction vector. It's analogous to my direction vector from my line. As I move my direction vector around, it moves my line anywhere I want in three-dimensional space. Now, who's this dude? Who's this dude, A? What's A's job in this equation? What's A's job? What was A's job in a line? When you said A plus TD, what was A's job in that line? A position vector. It positions, it positions the line. It starts from the origin and then sets the line in three-dimensional space. Then D goes to work directing the line. In the same way, give yourself, give yourself a nice little, little Cartesian X, Y, Z down here. In the same way, A is going to, is A is going to position my plane. Now the way I'm pretending, my vector is going to start at the origin it's going to go underneath. It's going to go underneath my plane and then go to that point. So I'm going to use dotted lines. I'm going to use dotted lines the moment I get under that, moment I slide under that plane. So I'm heading up. I'm now under the plane. Now I'm using dotted lines. And this is my vector A. And this is my vector A. So n is the what vector again? I'm going to keep hitting you with it. Until n is the normal. normal vector, perpendicular to the plane. A is the a is the position vector. position vector, positions the plane. Now that that only leaves what other vector? That only I mean look at the equation. That only leaves what other vector? Look at the equation of a plane. That only leaves what other vector? X. X. What? Well, Who's X's job in this? How does X come into this? Well, pick an arbitrary point not on the plane. I mean, sorry, pick an arbitrary point different than where A is pointing to. Maybe I'll just pick mine here. Since it's an arbitrary point on the plane, it represents any other point on the plane, I've got to use variables. I've got to use variables. And I'm not going to be clever. I'm not going to be clever. I'm just going to call it the point X y, z. It's, it's just a point, an arbitrary point, that's sitting on my plane. Now draw the position vector. Draw the position vector. And again, you're going to go underneath the plane, and then you're going to go up and hit that point. Draw the position vector that hits that point. Here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing. And this is the vector x. This is the vector x. This is the vector x. A vector, if you're in V, if you're what? You're an element of V, if you're what? You've got a quest coming up. You're an element of V, if you're what? In order to triple three real numbers. In order to triple three real numbers. So this is a vector. What would be the order triple? What would be the order triple that we would associate with that? What would be the order triple that we would associate with that? 
X, Y, Z, nothing more than X, Y, Z, those three real numbers. Okay, now draw this guy. Now draw this guy. Mark X minus A. Mark X minus A in our diagram. Mark the vector X minus A. Okay, now I'm hoping everybody drew a vector that starts at, I'm hoping everybody drew a vector that starts at, I'm hoping everybody drew a vector that starts at okay. the head of A and runs to the head of X. Yeah. And so this is the vector X minus A. Now let's see how good you are at visualizing three dimensions. Look at that diagram. What does X minus A lie in? What does the vector X minus A, as we've drawn it, lie in? It lies in the plane. This vector X minus A lies in the plane. So let me grab my plane segment over here. So here's like my plane segment. This is like my normal vector. This is like my normal vector. I've got to put this in my mouth, which is going to disgust me. Over here is the point X, Y, Z. This blue, little tiny blue vector, this little tiny blue vector is the vector, this little tiny blue vector is the vector... This blue vector, this little blue vector is the vector x minus a. That's x minus a. Now, what do you notice about the relationship between x minus a and capital N, the big blue vector? What do you notice about the relationship between x minus a and my big blue vector? They're perpendicular. They're perpendicular. So their dot products should be, their dot products should be yeah. zero. zero. And there it is, guys. There it is. There's the geometry on why the equation of the plane is exactly what it is. However, the classic Descartes form of a plane looks like this. Here's the classic Descartes form of a plane. It's a, it's a constant times x plus a constant times y plus another constant times z is equal to another constant, is equal to another constant. A constant times x plus a constant times y plus a constant times z equals another constant. This is the vector form. We'll call this the Descartes form. This is the vector form. This is the classic Descartes form. I want you to be able to go between the two almost effortlessly, like you can now do with the symmetric or the similar triangle version of the line and the vector form of the line. Okay, so you guys are gonna help me out. Let's look at this equation, let's look at this equation. Okay, if I really write it down, as order triples, this first guy would be the order triple, this first guy would be the, my normal vector would be the order triple. N1, N2, N3. N1, N2, N3. We'll be dotting it with, we'll be dotting it with a vector minus a vector. We're gonna be dotting it with a vector minus a vector. What would this vector be? What would that vector be at, in its ordered triple form? What would that vector be? What would that vector be? A1, A2, A3. A1, A2, A3. It's equal to the scalar zero. How about this vector? How about this vector? How about this vector? How about this vector? What would that vector be? 
What would that vector be? What would that vector be? X1, X2, X3. And we probably won't do it that way because we've already marked it as, I like where we're going, X, Y, Z. So mark that as X, Y, Z. Okay, now down here, I'm done writing. Down here, I'm done writing. I want you to first of all do, write this vector down again. Don't do anything until I say go. Write this vector down again, and then do this vector subtraction. Write this vector subtraction as a single vector. A vector minus a vector is, a vector minus a vector is a vector. So, so do this vector subtraction, and then just write this down with a dot product equals zero. So you guys write that down. Dr. Warren, what are we doing again? You're just writing the vector in one, in two, in, th in three, dotted now with a single vector that's the result of that vector subtraction. So does the order, so do you not do multiplication first? And then? No, don't do the multiplication first. Don't do the multiplication okay. first. Okay, I'm pretending you're done. I'm pretending you're done. I have no idea. I can't see your paper. I have no idea. But I'm pretending you're done. Now do the dot product. Now on the line below that, put an equal sign and do that dot product. I am now pretending you're done. I'm now pretending you're done. Distribute the N1, the N2, and the N3. Distribute the N1 on your next line. Distribute the N1 and the N2 and the N3 that arose from taking that dot product being equal to zero. Okay, I'm pretending you're done. I'm pretending you're done. Now listen carefully. Everything that has an X, Y, or Z in it, any term that has an X, Y, or Z in it, stays on one side, the side without the zero. Anybody who doesn't have an X, Y, or Z goes to the other side, and that's your last line. That's your last line. And when you're done, go to grid view. When you're done, go to grid view. Go to grid view and hold up what you've got for me. When you're done, go to grid view and hold up what you got for me. I want to see your equation of your plane. I want to see your equation of your plane. Good, Luke. Let me see here, Mason, what you got for me. Excellent, Mason. Rhett. Rhett, that should be, those should be, um, there should be sums there. You did the dot product, Rhett. You're doing the dot product. Uh, Lizzie, let me see. 
Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, you guys look around. You're seeing. Look at your other. Look at your buddies' works. They're all. They're all. They're the same. So if you're looking at this, taking this equation of the plane, my vector equation of the plane, doing a little bit of vector stuff that we've learned, we found that this was equal to n1 times x plus n2 times y plus n3 times z equal to n1 times a1 plus n2 times a2 plus n3 times a3. How many people got that? How many people got that? How many people were, were at that? But look here, guys. Look at here. Look here. Is this not exactly, if this, is this not exactly in the Descartes form? Is this not exactly in the Descartes form of a plane? My A would be, my A would be the, 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 N1. N1. My B would be the N2. My C is the N3. And then my D is, my D is that. Now we could have started with this. We could have started with this and done this. We, is there a distributive property? Is there a distributive property with the dot product? Is there a distributive property with the dot product? So we can have N dot X minus n dot a equals the scalar zero, which would imply then that n dot x is equal to n dot a. So if you're wondering how to go quickly, just do your normal vector dotted with your position vector, that's your d, your normal vector dotted with your position vector, and then down here, down here, your normal vector dotted with your x, y, z vector throws it immediately, throws it immediately into the symmetric form of the line. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna end with this. We're gonna end with this. I'm gonna give you a Descartes form of the line. 7x plus 8y plus 11 z equals 21. 7x plus 8y plus 7z, 11z equals 21. What would the normal vector be? What would the normal vector be that sits perpendicular to that plane you can't even graph right now? What would the normal vector be? What would the normal vector be? What would be a vector that would sit perpendicular to my plane? What vector would that be? What vector would that be? 7, 8, 11. 7, 8, 11. You could just pull it right off of. You can just pull it right off of your Descartes form of a plane. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to go to Canvas and go to Assignments. Everybody's video should be on. Everybody's video should be on, unless you've talked to me and told me that you don't have a video on your thing. Everybody's video should be on. Okay, listen, look guys, look. You guys have been on Zoom all the time. If you're on a mouse pad, if you're on a mouse pad versus having a pencil in your hand, or if you've got a mouse in your hand, if you're on a, if you're on a trackpad, there are two different motions. Your shoulder tells me everything. Your shoulder tells me everything. You have, you're allowed what on this quest? Your brain, which is what you need. I made the numbers easy. You're allowed your brain and a pencil. Other than that, technology is only to open the quest and send me a copy. When is it due? When is it due? When is it due? 11.10, 11.10, unless you've got an ODS form, then just take your time afterwards and finish it. All right, the game's afoot. You're not going to win. The quest is going to win. I just want to see how you see how you do. Think creatively. Give me your best efforts, okay? This is a conversation between you and me. I've set a fun little game afoot. So go, 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 go. There's no online portion, correct? 
there's no, there's no web assign. No, we're done with that crap. Okay, you're no web assigned questing. We're done with that. It's all brain. It's all brain. Are we still allowed to print out a copy to write on? Yeah, you can print out a copy. I prefer it if you can. If not, just work on front sheets of paper. 